A suicide crisis hotline set up expressly for military veterans sent some callers to voicemail and sometimes never even followed up. It didn't happen just a few times either. The VA investigated itself after complaints and found that nearly two dozen times callers to the official Veterans Affairs suicide hotline got a recording instead of a live person. Drew Griffin, our senior investigations correspondent, he's covering this. Drew, it really boggles the mind. A military veteran contemplating suicide perhaps takes the desperate step, courageous step really, to call a VA hotline, push to voicemail. This is really a significant failure considering how many suicides we're seeing among veterans. Spot on, Jim. The, you know, the numbers are hard to pin down, but the VA thinks five veterans a day actually kill themselves. Uh, and it is, it, it's really the job of these, these uh, the reason this hotline was created in the first place, trying to combat, if you will, the growing number of veterans that are committing suicide. What this report found was a significant number of the calls made to the center actually went or were routed to backup centers. And some of those calls were sent to voicemail. What's worse, in the Inspector General report, it determined that at one of the backup centers, 20 voicemails, Jim, were never returned because the backup center, they didn't even know there was a voicemail system. The report also found callers were not always offered immediate assistance and social workers connected to the hotline were working without adequate, adequate training. As you said, Jim, it just boggles the mind. Uh, Drew, has the VA responded to the criticisms yet? Yeah, the VA responded to the report agreeing with all the findings. But what's more, the VA was on top of this actually before the report came out. They've hired many more workers at this VA call center. They are trying to tackle this problem. But again, it's just another fire that the VA is trying to put out in its medical system. Investigative report out of Cincinnati this week. Dozens of whistleblowers coming forward to complain about quality of care. The VA says now it's all over that, sending people there to find out what's going on and address the concerns there. And just today, just this morning, Jim, an Inspector General report out of Tucson finds that the VA leased $1.8 million in urology equipment. Then they didn't use it for five months. That resulted in $217,000 of taxpayer money that was wasted, but worse, for all those five months, the veterans who needed that equipment to be working for their urology exams they didn't get that quality of care. It's, well, it, it boggles the mind. But, Jim, I just want to make one more point, if I may. If you're a veteran, you're contemplating suicide, call that hotline number. The, the number does work. It has helped 50,000 or so vets avoid uh, a crisis. You need to call that number if you're in trouble. We should, we should mention that straight out.